Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Anthony Guida, and I am a customer engineer at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I detect malicious activity in my Google Cloud environment? The Google Cloud solution that we will be focused on during this session is Security Command Center, also known as SCC. SCC is inspired by the same technologies that Google uses to protect itself. We are now bringing this cloud native technology to the market so that you can utilize it to protect your organization. So how does Security Command Center work? Well, as you can see in this slide, SCC continuously monitors your Google Cloud environment to discover assets, identify misconfiguration and web app vulnerabilities, and detect threats in near real time. SCC also provides you these key capabilities for you to effectively manage security and risk. There is an asset view that provides a real-time insight into your resources and policies, changes to your inventory, and the security findings associated with each of those assets. A consolidated set of security findings that span across misconfigurations, vulnerabilities, and threats to your Google Cloud environment. It also gives you a prioritized set of security findings that help you address critical security issues. Another capability within SCC is the Compliance View. Compliance View enables you to view and know where you stand by correlating all its tracked misconfigurations and vulnerabilities to industry standards like CIS, PCI DSS, NIST 853, and ISO 27001. It also provides compliance reporting segmented by these standards that you can use to track how your environment compares with the technical controls of your relevant industry benchmarks. Security Command Center not only provides you visibility, findings, and compliance report, but it also gives you recommendations and remediation steps for you to take action on the security findings and compliance violations. You can also integrate these findings into your security ecosystem. For example, findings can be sent to a SOAR or SIM platform for you to remediate your response. All of these capabilities are provided to you as a service without the need to manage any infrastructure. As I mentioned, one of the top questions that I get from Google Cloud customers is how do I detect malicious activity in my Google Cloud environment? It's a great question. The approach to detecting these types of attacks are definitely different in the cloud than on-premise. To answer that question, we are going to perform an attack simulation today and show you how SEC enables you to detect an attack that uses several tactics, including the ones you see on the screen from initial access to exfiltration. The first tactic will be focused on initial access as the attacker needs to gain access to the Google Cloud environment. In this case, the attacker obtains and abuses credentials of an existing GCP admin account as a means of gaining initial access. Another method could be compromising the endpoint of that GCP admin. As we know, compromised credentials may be used to bypass access controls placed on various resources and systems within the network and may even be used for persistent access to remote systems. The attacker will then access a virtual machine within the Google Cloud environment to further progress through their mission. Once the attacker gains access to the Google Cloud environment, they will want to establish persistence. In this case, the attacker will create a service account with elevated privileges so that if their initial access gets removed, they will essentially have a backdoor to the environment to complete their mission. This service account will also be used to complete additional steps within the environment. In order to detect this type of an attack, SCC will be leveraging an anomaly detection technique to identify when a service account grants itself a sensitive IAM role. Once the elevated service account is provisioned, the attacker in this case will continue to establish persistence to the environment by implementing a binary into an existing Google Kubernetes engine cluster, which is another backdoor for the attacker to use if their initial access is removed. The binary that is implanted could be used for various purposes such as establishing a reverse shell. For those familiar with running containers in their cloud environments, they should know that runtime containers are meant to be immutable. Containers and the apps that run within them go through an extensive CI CD process and should not change once they are running in production. For example, 
binaries or libraries should not be added to the cluster at this point. So that means this is an excellent place to perform detection. The approach we take with SEC is by instrumenting the LSM with what is called container threat detection. So when you enable SEC Premium, the agent is already baked into the container OS image and does not increase the attack surface in the container environment. It is also very lightweight and does not consume significant resources. This is a major benefit of a cloud native technology such as SEC, as all of the analysis is built into the control plane. Excellent. Now that the attacker has gained access to the Google Cloud environment and established persistence, they are going to move on to data collection and exfiltration phases of their mission. There are several techniques to, ex, uh, to collect and exfiltrate data. Today, we're going to focus on Google's serverless data warehouse technology, BigQuery, and a native capability to export data to a cloud storage bucket. Once the data is exported to the bucket, the attacker will use that method to effectively exfiltrate data from the GCP environment. Just a quick recap of what we just walked through. You can see the four tactics that we'll be simulating, the techniques associated to them, along with the MITRE AT attack technique number so that you can reference them on, uh, offline. Now let's simulate this attack and then demonstrate how you can detect these threats and malicious activity using Security Command Center Premium. As mentioned, today's demo is going to be focused on Security Command Center Premium. I'm currently logged into my organization's uh, Security Command Center Council. And as you can see, I'm filtering at the moment based on the last hour. Um, you can change this filter um, up and down uh, the timeline of what is provided within this uh, drop down menu. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, we're going to be focusing on the last hour. Uh, as you can see, once you log in to the Security Command Center Council, we are surfacing uh, findings by severity, active vulnerabilities over time by severity, and new threats over time. You also have the ability to drill into any of these findings by category, resource type, or project as noted um, on this overview uh, page. Um, so we're going to go ahead and simulate the attack that we, uh, we uh, reviewed um, in the slides. And for that purpose, I have a, uh, a handy uh, shell script here that I'm going to execute that will simulate all of the tactics and techniques that we reviewed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and kick that off by uh, running that script. Um, that runs through the, the tactics and techniques. And in the meantime, I'm going to switch to uh, Security Command Center uh, Council and go ahead and uh, refresh my screen here and demonstrate how quickly Security Command Center uh, detects these threats and malicious activity. Um, so go ahead and refresh this. And as you can immediately see that within the last hour, we've identified four new threats from a critical uh, severity perspective, six threats from a high severity uh, perspective, and one uh, low severity uh, threat. So we're gonna click into the threats tab and identify the, the various threats that have been um, you know, categorized and detected by Security Command Center Premium. Uh, as you can see, several different findings from adding binary uh, executed to uh, adding a library, uh, a reverse shell uh, technique that was uh, leveraged uh, in this environment, uh, BigQuery data exfiltration, uh, a persistence uh, method that was associated to the anomalous uh, IAM role and the, and the, the service account granted itself that role. Uh, and then lastly, uh, some discovery techniques that were also associated to the service account's performance and self-investigation on the permissions and privileges uh, that, it, uh, at, that it had um, initially. Um, any one of these findings um, can be quickly um, something that can be pivoted into. I'm gonna go ahead and select the reverse shell a method just to quickly demonstrate uh, the information that is surfaced with the actual finding. Uh, so here we have a couple of reverse shell uh, findings. I'm going to pivot into one of these here and pull out the, the summary information, uh, including the description, uh, when it was first and, and last discovered in the environment, the method uh, that was used to actually detect this particular finding, in this case, container threat detection. Um, and then down below that, you have all of the various attributes associated to the uh, the cluster and, and the finding uh, that this uh, was particularly uh, relevant to. 
Um, in addition to that, we have a source properties tab that goes into much more detail um, into the environment variables, the IP addresses involved, the uh, ports that were leveraged, uh, and so forth uh, associated to this particular finding, which is a reverse shell um, uh, finding that was detected by container threat detection. Um, any one of these uh, uh, drill downs can be further leveraged, as you can see here. Um, and, um, and then lastly, you can share these, uh, these findings with additional team members, if you like, by copying uh, a link to this finding. And as mentioned during the slide uh, portion of this demo, um, you can also send these details to some kind of SOAR or SIM platform um, and leverage those tools and technologies to uh, proceed with any type of remediation or response efforts that are associated uh, with that. So this concludes our, um, our security showcase and uh, demonstration. Um, please uh, check out cloud.google.com slash security for any additional uh, demos and, and security showcase videos relevant to your environment. Thank you for listening in. Appreciate your time.